Welcome to a new episode. In this episode, I will go into details with LEDs and the technology behind. I will not go too deep, so I will only take the advantages and a little bit about the semiconductor itself. So let's start up with the first uh, drawing here, and that is the LED, of course. We have the uh, board, and then we have the dome, and then we have the semiconductor here. And how it's normally uh, uh, done this one here is that you have the bond wire connected to the semiconductor and that is plus and minus and then you have the P and the N side and what I will not do in this video is going into details of that little thing inside which is the semiconductor I can do that in another episode but for this one I will only say that Depending on what sort of uh, light you will have from this semiconductor, you can have red light, you can have blue light and green light, and that is all depending on the material in the semiconductor used, right? So that is how it looks like, and you have the light out from the dome right here. And what I also can mention when we're speaking about the LED itself is that this viewing angle is around 120 degrees around that. As standard, then you can do a lot of other things like including an optic in front and only have, let's say, around 10 degrees. So you can control the light in front, but as standard, the viewing angle is pretty wide when we're speaking about LEDs, for instance. So, with that being said, we can move a little bit over to the advantages that LEDs have, and I can start up with. The first one, which is lifetime. Yep, and lifetime is from 50,000 to around 100,000 um, hours. And um, that is approximately how it is. There is, of course, different uh, lifetimes when we are on the market. It could be for lamps, which is only around 10,000 hours. It could be for luminaires, which have 200,000 uh, hours. So this is a general setup from, for, uh, for what I'm saying now. And then we go down to um, energy savings. So when we're speaking about energy savings, depending on what sort of light source we are comparing the LED with, we are typically speaking about 40 to 50 percent in energy savings, and um, that is why the LEDs have been, I will say, have been met so good on the market uh, because the energy savings is pretty high and the lifetime is also really long. So um, when we are speaking about this 40 to 50 percent, you might think, okay, I have heard that I can get like 90 percent of energy savings. And that is also true, but in combination, I also and also point out that this is because we are speaking about uh, comparison with halogen bulbs and incandescent bulbs as well. So those light sources are really inefficient. So for that reason, you will also have a higher energy saving. This one is typically when we are speaking about changing fluorescent tubes to LEDs, and uh, it could be maybe 60 instead. So. This is pretty much it. And uh, if we go over to another advantages which LEDs have, um, I, can, I can shut this in this point over to two, uh, two points, which is um, they turn on with full light within milliseconds, which is really good. Um, as you might know, the fluorescent tube, they are a little bit, it takes some time to reach the full level of light, uh, light. and uh, in comparison with LEDs, as I mentioned, it is uh, uh, within milliseconds. And another thing is, I can write that down here, so it is within milliseconds, there we go, and what is also good is that the LED is a light source which really are able to manage, um, I will say, high pressure when it comes to it's really robust, so it may be the most robust light source on the market. And, um, and why that is good is because, let's say, the luminaire is installed on places 
where there could be some persons who want to to uh, to do some some uh, some smashing in the luminaire um, in um, in that way the LEDs is uh, is not taking any uh, damage uh, for that reason so that's good so I can also leave a comment here as damage so it's really robust there we go another thing to point out when we're speaking about the advantages is that the leds is not including mercury and um, just in comparison the fluorescent tube is including mercury which is not good if the uh, light source is damaged uh, and uh, and the mercury will get out in the room so um, and and you you have to evacuate the room if that happens, and that's not uh, something that LEDs are including. So uh, no mercury. I can write it down here in the light switch. Good. So um, in another episode, I also mentioned that it is good to um, the LEDs is really good to manage the different colors. So you have, for instance, R. GB, and you also are in combination with white. What is good about that, just in the last point, is that you are able to manage the colors better. So let's say you have blue jeans in your retail shop and you want to have those represented better, then you're able to move up for the, for the blue one and you are able to have a better color rendering on those blue jeans and maybe you can go down on the green one. And vice versa, if you have some, let's say, greens in your supermarket you want to highlight more, then you can go down for the blue one and up for the green one. So this is pretty much a, a, a great way to, uh, to, to use LEDs, that you can combine the different colors and then get a better uh, color rendering on your products or that could also be in your room. So with those points mentioned here, I believe this is uh, pretty much um, uh, the most important one and if you if you have any let's say other things you want to uh, to uh, to point out then please leave a comment down below and i will try to answer them as good as i can so uh, for now thank you for watching and i uh, hope you liked the video